Hey guys, what's up? This is Alpha Miss Androids World here for DroidShark.com with another Android app review. Thankfully, it is free of Photoshop Mobile. Now, of course, this application is by none other than Photoshop.com. And I have to say, this is a really cool picture editing program. I think it's a really nice application, especially for those of you guys who know what Photoshop is. So let's take a look at it. Alright guys, so there's the icon. Go ahead and launch it open. It is a P for Photoshop. As you can see, it's adobephotoshop.com mobile. And uh, there's the loading screen, and here we are. So it says Photoshop.com mobile needs a moment to create thumbnails of your photos. Hit OK. And I can even help them to improve by sending them different comments. So I'll go ahead and hit Allow. And now here I have a ton of different pictures. So I will go ahead and tap this picture of a Motorola Devourer that I took. There it is. And I can tap Menu, and this is where I can do different things to it. So as you can see, I can upload the picture somewhere. I can edit it or cancel the upload if I started it. I can delete the picture, set it as a wallpaper, or even start a slideshow. So let's go ahead and go into Edit Photo. As you can see, it is just a picture viewing uh, application as well, if you want it to be. And here's where you get the different options. So tapping Menu, I can undo and redo different things I've done. I can save the photo or cancel. Um, I'm going to go into this different picture now and do the same thing. This is a really cool picture I took of the devourer. Edit it and just show you guys some of the things that I can do. So first off, I can crop, straighten, rotate, and flip the photo. So if I go to crop, I have these little tools here that I can set. I can find a specific spot that I want to crop. And uh, just hit the little check, and there it goes. I cropped the photo. Uh, unfortunately, there is no pinch to zoom. So here's where I can change the exposure, saturation, tint, the black and white, the contrast, and the brightness. So I'll go to exposure, and I get to slide my finger left and right to change the exposure and how it looks. So that's pretty cool. The highest you can go is 64. Um, it is really hard to get it back to zero though. There should be some way to like double tap and get it back to zero definitely. It is definitely annoying that it's hard to do that. You gotta go very slow. There you go. So I'm gonna hit check. Go back to here and another thing I can just change the brightness to show you guys. So I can turn it all the way up to 100, all the way down to zero. But I believe it was on 50 when I started. So hit check and there I change the brightness. Um, you can also change the soft focus, again, sliding right to left to change the focus of it. Um, and I can change the effects and the borders. So effects, as you can see, there's vibrant, uh, there's the rainbow effect, soft black and white. And when I tap on it, it'll actually change it to that. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to put it on pop. Hit OK, and there you go. And I can even change borders, as you can see. Just put different borders on. So I'll put the oval on, hit OK, and there we go. Uh, this is where I can stop it and I can save it. I can rotate the picture. As you can see, that's undoing and redoing, which is definitely cool. And then this button right here will save the picture. And that's it. And then here's where I can edit some photos, upload them. I can go to my phone or my online. I can join, sign in. Tapping menu, again, same exact user interface. So really cool photo editing application. And again, it can be used as just a simple photo viewing application as well, which is very, very fast and very nice, very clean. And I really, really like this application. All right, guys, so thanks for watching this Android app review of Photoshop. Again, if you know what you're doing, this is really extensive. And I was really surprised. I showed my dad this, and he was really impressed that there's really that much you can do with it. You can change almost everything about this photo right from your phone, edit it, upload it. I mean, there's tons of different things you can do, and I think it's awesome. So thanks for watching this Android app review. This is Al from Miss Android's World, so make sure you guys check out my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Miss Android's World, and I'll see you guys in my next Android app review.